What's up gamers? Welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to show you how to do a pressure blitz out of zone. Yesterday we showed you how to do it out of man. We're going to use the same techniques. We're just going to use a different play. So we come out in the Undersam Shark for our zone blitz where I can actually use the Undersam Shark or we could use this cover three. We're going to use the cover three for today's video. What we like to do is we like to base a line. Everything's the same. We want to pinch our defensive line, crash our defensive line down, re-blitz this left of screen outside linebacker Cole, spread our linebackers, grab onto Thornton here, and when, since we're sending it from a zone, I like to man Thornton up on someone. I'm actually going to man him up on Sidney Rice, the slot receiver. Then I'm going to give it grab onto D'Amico Ryans here, user control him, and you see we should get some pressure up the A-gap there. I think I actually went ahead and slid left on accident, um, but that is the only way they can stop this pressure is to slide protect to the left side of the field. Um, that's how they stop it. So, And there we might not get it the proper. And there you see, there it comes. And you see if it doesn't come through the A-gap, it will come off of the edge. The linebacker will actually come up and loop around. So this is really good for like Michael Vick and other left-handed quarterbacks. Um, here again, the understand Shark, you send it from the right. Yeah, the cover three, you send it from the left. Setup is once again, it's base align. Um, Pinch your defensive line, spread your linebackers, crash your defensive line down, globally re-blitz your left of screen outside linebacker, man up your right of screen defensive end on anyone on the field, user somebody on the right side, and reap the benefits of A-gap pressure in Madden NFL 25 next gen. That's how we do it from man and zone. And it's really important to have a man blitz and a zone blitz because that way you can have the same pressure, but you can have different coverages behind it and really do a good job at clouding the middle. You want to put a guy there that has high acceleration. We actually don't have the guy there that's actually going to be best for this. So I'll think of how much better this is actually going to be in game mode. But we will love getting some A-gap pressure in Madden 25. And this is how you do it from the 4-3 under formation. The play is the cover three. Thanks, guys.